Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag drops a over a mod. A mod has not started for Man United in the Premier League in almost three years and was in a heavily rotated team ahead of the Europa League final. Eric Ten Hag has indicated a mod could make his first meaningful Premier League start for Manchester United against Sheffield United. The 21-year-old has not started for United since December 2021, and he has made six appearances off the bench this season, scoring the winning goal against Liverpool in the FA Cup quarterfinals. Ahmad joined United from Atalanta in October 2020, and only three of his 15 appearances for the club have been as a starter. The winger's only two starts in the Premier League were in heavily rotated teams against Leicester and Wolves in May 2021, as then-manager Ole Gunnar Solskjaer prioritized the league visit of Liverpool and the Europa League final. The Ivory Coast International sustained a knee injury in the pre-season victory over Arsenal in July and did not return until late December. Ahmad deserves it, to start matches. But don't forget he had a long period in the season injured, Ten Hag said. So we rebuilt him, and now he has had some opportunities and a real contribution. He played in a position that is not his best position. He started as a striker and then he had to play in the midfield so he did well. We have a number of players in that area, there is big competition. He already deserved more game minutes I would say, but I have to choose. We have Alejandro, Garnacho, Anthony, and we have Omari Forson. We have a number of players in that position, and we have to make choices there. But I am very happy with his performances and his progress. I see his qualities and his assets can really contribute to our game. Ten Hag could be without 12 first-team players if Scott McTominay and Marcus Rashford fail to recover after they were injured in the FA Cup semi-final against Coventry City. Defenders Rafael Varane, Victor Lindelof, Lisandro Martinez, Johnny Evans, Willie Camboala, Luke Shaw, Tyrell Malaysia, midfielders Sofian Amrabat and Mason Mount, and striker Anthony Martial all missed the Coventry game. And still we perform, Ten Hag stressed. Tomorrow we will be creative and we will put a team out that is capable of winning the match, even if we have to be really creative. We have to put players in other positions. I only see our injury problems across the season, and that is what I have analyzed. I am sure we are building, and I know the depth of the squad from the start of the season. We have to improve, and the depth hasn't always been. That was the case when I started here and we started to reconstruct and build in key positions where we wanted to have an upgrade. Now we have to build further on, also in the depth of the squad. So far as a manager, I have never had this injury crisis before. It is so many injuries across the season. That is only what I can say from my experience. Meanwhile, Carlos Tevez's hospital dash after suffering from chest pains has brought well wishes from across Manchester, where he played with passion and purpose for both clubs. The 40-year-old, one of only 14 footballers to play for both top-flight Manchester teams, spent the night at a clinic in the upmarket Buenos Aires neighborhood of San Isidro after seeking medical help. He is due to undergo more tests today at another nearby hospital. Tevez's role in the power shift between Man United and their city rivals is crucial. City, once upon a time, were the upstarts in Manchester, living in the shadow of their neighbors over at Old Trafford. That was to change, and Tevez would play a critical part. They're a small club with a small mentality. All they can talk about is Manchester United. They can't get away from it. Sir Alex Ferguson delivered many a scornful assessment during his career, but this scowling indictment in 2009 was his fiercest attack on City. The noisy neighbors were starting to grow louder and show their teeth a year on from Sheikh Mansour's takeover. Outbursts often tell the tale of a manager's true emotions on a given topic, and current United boss Eric Ten Hag has been accused of feeling the pressure following his extraordinary press conference this week. United are now the club playing catch-up and will go into the FA Cup final against City on May 25 as the comfortable underdogs. Supporters are hoping that Sir Jim Ratcliffe can close the gap. Take a drive along Wharfside Way and you will see a red-printed Welcome to Manchester sign emblazoned with Ratcliffe's portrait. 
It is a retaliation to the Tevez version produced by Man City in 2009, which prompted that furious reaction from Ferguson. That Tevez poster was located three miles away in Deansgate and perhaps signaled the start of the power shift in Manchester. City boss Mark Hughes played down the gesture as harmless fun between rival fan bases, but his former United boss did not concur. They think taking Carlos Tevez away from Manchester United is a triumph. It is poor stuff, Ferguson added. Sir Alex had announced that United had tabled an offer for the West Ham Loney in May 2009, despite the attacker outlining his intentions to leave a week earlier. The player's agent rebuffed those claims at the time, but eventually a lucrative five-deal offer arrived. However, Tevez had already made up his mind. This was the first time in the modern era where a player United and their fans wanted to keep had actively chosen City over them. The table of dominance didn't tilt immediately, though. United lifted the League Cup and lost out on the title by a point to Chelsea the following season, while City failed to finish in the top four. The 2010-11 season would be a landmark campaign for the Blues. United reclaimed the Premier League title, but were starting to see City catch up. They finished third and nine points behind, but still managed to stick a thorn in the side of their red rivals. A Yaya Toure winner in the Wembley semi-final meeting against United denied them a double that season with lesser-favored Stoke City beating Bolton in the other semi-final. Toure struck again in the final to see Tevez, now captain, lift the club's first major piece of silverware in 35 years. The tone towards Tevez was slightly different 12 months later. The striker was accused of refusing to warm up in a Champions League game by Roberto Mancini, which led to a falling out and a self-inflicted five-month exile. Some fans wanted the Argentine gone, and a new Tevez poster was unfurled in the away end at Blackburn Rovers in October 2011, this time reading Tevez out. He eventually apologized and played a major part in the final months of the dramatic 2012 title-winning season. Manchester United centre-back Lisandro Martinez has hinted he could soon be back available for selection amid his latest stint on the sidelines through injury. The Argentine, who has played just 11 times in all competitions this season, was ruled out for a month with a calf strain, which he suffered in training, on April 2nd. The defender encountered his latest setback just days after making his return from a knee injury against Brentford on March 30th. He sustained the knee problem during the 3-0 win over West Ham United at Old Trafford on February 4th. His knee buckled under the weight of a challenge from Hammers right-back Vladimir Kufal. Fortunately for Martinez and United, the injury did not require surgery, meaning his period of absence was not as long as it could have been. However, it was a cruel blow when he picked up another injury just days after returning from that aforementioned knee problem, meaning three separate injuries have caused him to miss large chunks of the campaign. However, Martinez is understood to be making progress from his latest setback and is poised to play his part before the end of the season. United have seven games left in league and cup, starting against Sheffield United at Old Trafford on Wednesday.